This is JB's Baseball Cards, here today with a recap of what I got out of a hobby box of 2021 Topps Gypsy Queen. Um, this is about a year old, but I never opened a hobby box of Gypsy Queen before. I decided to order this on Fanatics. Um, I actually did very well out of this box. Uh, last time I ordered from Fanatics was 2019 Heritage High Number Hobby Boxes, I believe. And they, uh, they scanned me out of a hit, so I did eventually get Topps to you know, send a replacement hit out of those Heritage Hobby Boxes, but I um, did not have a good experience, so I hadn't been back in a while, but I think I will definitely come again and uh, buy some more of these, but I got a really cool autograph relic card I'll save to the end, and just did really well overall. Probably a third of the packs had something special, whether it was a parallel or short print or an autograph, but I'll go ahead and get started. I'm just going to show off the inserts and the hits here pretty much. I got the box topper pack, you got the chrome cards, I got a Justin Verlander, a Max Scherzer, so two future Hall of Famers there, and a Steven Strasburg blue parallel, which is numbered out of 150, numbered 5 out of 150. So I do like these chrome box toppers. I'm a sucker for all the chrome uh, box toppers and just box toppers in general. Go ahead and go to the inserts before we get to the hits. These are the tall boy minis. Captain cards, I got Chris Bryant, cool as a Cubs fan. Mike Trout, Whit Merrifield, and Brian Anderson. And I really like these Tarot of the Diamond cards. Got a Mike Trout, Ronald Acuna Jr., who I'm a fan of, and Nolan Arenado. There's what the backs look like. I'll go ahead and get to the hits. I got a couple uh, short prints. You got a Matt Chapman missing nameplate. See the name's not there. And a Keston Hira. I believe this is the 100 year anniversary of the Negro Leagues celebration, and there's the patch there, I believe that's what it is, or it could be the Roberto Clemente. Um, they paired those together in the odds, so I'm not sure exactly which one it is. But uh, the number on the code on the back told me it was different. Keston Hira, and you'll be seeing him again at the end with a really neat card. Cool, Another cool one is a Cubs fan, a Sammy Sosa short print, which is any card numbered 301 to 320 in the checklist. Got three numbered cards here, just parallels. Brandon Crawford, purple, out of 250. A Fernando Tatis Jr. Aqua, which is a really cool card. He's going to come back soon, hopefully, out of 199. And a Pete Alonzo Blue, out of 150. This is really a 2019 rookie class box. Um, got a lot of cool cards from that. And then a, my first autograph was a Miguel Yahiri. He's on the Yankees here, but I think he was with the Pirates as well. I'm not sure where he ended up. Number 51 out of 150. The design of this year's Gypsy Queen were really cool. It looks like there's like some grass in the back or something, like wildlife growing back there with like a turnstile dime, uh, circle there. It's really cool um, design of the autographs. and uh, Not the best name, but cool to get a Yankee and number card for sure. Then in the hit of the box, um, he's not had a great career after his rookie season, but he's done a few good things this year. Got a Keston Hira autograph garment, autograph relic card. This is a piece of his bat. Pretty cool, clean signature there. Numbered out of 50. Number 42 out of 50. This was a r really rare pull. I forget exactly what the odds were, but I think it was over 1 in 1,000, so definitely a tough one to get. And uh, I, I've kind of been the Keston Hero Magnet. I've pulled some really cool cards of his. Too bad he hasn't turned out too well, but that's all right for me as a Cubs fan, too, because he's with the Brewers. Hopefully he does well, but just just well enough for the Brewers to miss the playoffs and not kill the Cubs too much. Um, just so I can have, you know, more valuable cards there. But either way, it's a really cool-looking card. I never got one of these before. And definitely, hopefully, going to get a 2022 Gypsy Queen Hobby Box. I think the prices will go down on those. So I'm definitely happy with that. I was surprised it's a really thick card. I was hoping for something huge. But you can get booklets out of Gypsy Queen and stuff like that, too. So um, I'm still happy with that hit. And definitely got a really good box overall. A ton of really cool cards. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Go Cubs!